Hi, this is Kumail, and uh, today I'll be like uh, discussing on how to set up Atom and Git and GitHub on Atom. Uh, the first question that uh, comes is uh, why to choose Atom. Uh, these are the important features uh, of set of Atom editor. Number one is it is very customizable text editor. It means you know, it can be used for C++, Java, PHP, Python, etc. Another important feature is it is open source text editor that can be used to develop many applications. Especially Node.js applications can be easily developed in Atom. And, and another important feature and I think that is the most important feature is that uh, it works the same on Windows, Mac and Linux. It means you do not have to worry about installing uh, different editors for, for each different operating system. It works same and it is, it is the same on Windows, Mac and Linux. So that is a very important feature. Another thing good about uh, Atom is that it, it provides a uh, very easy to use interface for installing multiple packages. Uh, there are a number of packages there available. We'll discuss it once we move on to, to the Atom, Atom editor. And uh, let's see, this is Atom site, atom.io. You can get it on, uh, get it uh, to this website from Google. You can just write down atom.io and you'll you'll get this link uh, where you can download the Windows installer or any other installer that you may want for for uh, Mac or Linux. Now, once downloaded, you will have something. Uh, you will have an installer like this. Atom setup. 64.exe since I have a 64 bit machine so uh, it is that you can install it um, by by selecting the application dot executable file and once installed you can open the text editor like this uh, I was talking about packages here you can see this is the package uh, window there are so many packages already installed and few of the packages that I installed myself how can we install packages? You can select setting, view and select open. Here you will see on the left hand side pen all the options available are on Atom. You can select the package and you can write the name of package that you may want to install. For example, I installed Atom-Beautify. This is uh, the first package and, and it is since it is directly already installed, it is giving the option to uninstall, disable or go to settings. These are all the packages that I've already installed. I can write down any package name that I want to actually install and I can get it installed within few uh, uh, seconds or minutes according to your internet speed connection. Let's let's search Python since I'm working with Python. Okay, you can see here it's again I've already installed it. So I uh, and there are so many packages available. Let's search Java here. So these are all the packages that I have come uh, installed as by default. Now, okay. The next thing is. Uh, How to set git and github on atom now uh, to set git and github on atom we would need to first install git we can install git from the git website this is the git website we can install the git there if git is not installed generally it gives an uh, a config file error uh, that asks you to actually set username and and email First, as a global variable in git config but uh, I prefer actually you download the git and then you, you set the config file uh, in, in, in the command prompt so I, I'll discuss it later on but this is the git website you can download the git latest version for uh, from here I have Windows machine I've already downloaded the latest version and here it is for you so once downloaded, you just have to install Git, and once the Git is installed, what you are required, uh, you are required to open the command prompt. 
in administrative uh, with its administrative rights. You can see here it's coming administrator command prompt. So I've already opened it. How can you open it? I, I just show you again about how to open. Okay, when you write down command, uh, it will on uh, Windows button. I will show an option to uh, select a command prompt. Uh, now press Control Shift and Enter to open it in administ with administrative rights. So here it opens. Here what here we are required to write down this these commands to get uh, uh, to set global config variables for username and password, a username and email for git and github. This is the command git dot config dash dash global then user dot email and another command is this is my email address so it, it showed that because I've already set it up git dot pick dash dash local user dot name okay uh, so instead of user dot email and user dot name you have to cite, write down your user dot your email address and user dot your name okay and once that is done you can press exit to exit the command prompt and then start working on atom in atom okay in atom I can close the settings window this is the first window uh, the untitled window we can create a new project I'll show you how uh, add project folder Inside SC Docs, I create a new folder with Atom and GitHub, and I select this as my project folder. Now it opens up the project. Now installing Git and GitHub with this, I go to Packages, toggle to Git tab. Here you will see that the Git repository option has uh, come now again I go to packages and select github and you see there the github uh, pen has also opened on git I'll select create repository now I have to give the path of uh, of my project folder here to set my git repository in, in the project directory. So what is my project folder path? It is you can see here this is the path. So wherever you create a project you can set define the part according to, to your project folder. And now you can see here now the git repository has been created and there a git folder dot git folder has been added now you should go to config file and add config details here the config details are you are going to add branch that is going to be master And and remote origin. URL equals to here you will add the URL uh, URL of your GitHub 
uh, repository. So we have all the things set up at the moment for, for our project on our desktop machine. Now we are going to go to GitHub website. I've already opened that view and we're going to set up a repository there. Uh, we create uh, the repository with the name of Atom and GitHub. This is going to be a public repository. I would select this uh, check mark and create a repository. Now, this is the readme file of this uh, repository. Now, this is the URL of the repository. I'm going to copy it and paste it inside this config file of git. Now, this is pasted. I'm going to save it. Now, I have added all the config details here. The git is al already ad added. The GitHub is added, but I have not connected to the GitHub uh, file. So, but I have actually put the settings there that uh, that can be used for it. Setting or for creating a connection to GitHub repository. Now, now you see that uh, I have created uh, a GitHub file, a GitHub repository, and that has a README file. As the first step, I would connect. Uh, I would fetch this uh, on the files that is in this uh, repository to to the to my desktop and how do we do it we first mm, We're going to first fetch it uh, and then uh, pull pull the remote repository. So just a moment. Okay, uh, we made a typo mistake. It's B R A N C H branch. Let's save it. And now here we're going to fetch. The repository from this URL. Now the patch process is done. Now we need to pull the file. And now you can see that the README file has been added. And this is the description of the README file at the main GitHub that we set on GitHub. So now we actually got it from the GitHub repository that we created. Now we need to make some few changes to it. This is our first stage. I'm going to save it and now you see that it's, it's coming to the unstaged uh, uh, pan. We can, when we select this, we see changes that we made that is uh, green highlighted. We can just use the stage all button. Now it is staged. We're going to write down the comment message. First comment. And then we're going to comment it. Once it is committed, it means it is ready to be pushed to our GitHub repository. And when we press push button, it will ask us the username and password for her. GitHub repository. Let's sign in. You see here it's, it's processing and it is done. Let's see where the these changes are coming across. So 
this was uh, our old uh, description file uh, description in, in readme file let's refresh it now you see that change has come it has uh, got the uh, got the new file with, with the updates and this is showing so see how easy it is to put things uh, onto git github and then uh, uh, pull it back from 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 github to, to continue our working and how easy it is to use atom with git and github so hope you you enjoy it and uh, you understood uh, the process that has been discussed uh, if you have any question you can contact me thank you